Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic uh, radioactivity and we're going to be looking at nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. So we will see what fusion and fission is and how it occurs and we will do a few practice. So radioactive disintegration or decay can be initiated in an industrial setup or in an industrial laboratory. So it is, can be done in two methods. We have the nuclear fusion and the nuclear fusion. So we are going to see what they, how they differ. So for nuclear fusion is the process which are fast moving neutron. So there's a neutron that is moving very fast. It hits and bombards heavy. So we need to see a neutron in our equation bombarding an heavy and stable nuclide and it releases little nucleides and three daughter neutrons the large amount of energy. So nuclear fusion is the basic chemistry behind nuclear bombs made in the nuclear factories. So the three daughter neutrons be be becomes again fast moving neutrons bombarding more other heavy and stable nucleides releasing even smaller nucleides and three more daughter nucleides and then it becomes like a chain reaction and this chain reaction continues to produce a lot of energy that is now used in powering those nuclear stations. So this is an example, this is a neutron you can see, the mass number is one, atomic number is zero. You can see how it's hitting this uranium which is very large and we are, pro we are producing this daughter uh, the daughter nuclei and a lot of energy is given off. So we need to remember that the mass number will always change when a nuclear fission occurs. So let's do these questions together. So we have a nuclei reacting with aluminium. So this is the product we get. So let's see what are the products you're going to get. So we have 1 plus 27 on the mass number is equals to 28 plus y. So let's see how much is that. So you can see the mass number does not change. It's equal, this one is equal to the addition and then 13 is equal to that. So this tells you that the gamma rays are produced and a lot of, of course, energy in the process. And then we have this nuclei uh, bombarding aluminium again, but now this is aluminium 28. So we need to look for the value of A and B, and we also have an helium that is given off. So we are going to say it's 1 plus 28 is equals to the product, which is B plus 4. This is 29 is equals to B plus 4. So this is the same as 29 minus 4, which gives us 25. So B is going to be 25. And then for A is going to be 0 in the reactants plus A is equals to 11 plus 2. So this is 9 is equals to A. This is A is equals to 11 plus 2, which is 11, which is 13. So A is 13. Let's do another question. So we have uh, the nuclei, uranium, and then we form this product. So we are going to look for the value of A. What is A? So the reactants, we have 1 plus 235. The mass number is equals to 95 plus 139 plus 2 times 1, which gives you 2. So it's going to be 95 plus 139 plus 2, which gives us 236. So this side is 236, this side is 236. This tells you we have a mass number of 0. And then the atomic number is going to be 0, this one, plus 92. Reactant is equal to 42 plus 57 plus 0. So let's see if it's going to be 92. So 42 plus 57 gives us 99. So this tells us, so we have a certain, we need a certain value. So 92 is equal to 99 uh, plus A, of course. Um, 
And remember, our A has been multiplied by 7. So it's 92 is equals to 99 plus 7 and an unknown value. You can call it A. So it's 70, 92 is equals to 99 plus 7A, which is the same. We can put light terms together. So we can take 99, the other side becomes negative 99 um, plus 92 is equals to 7a so when we look at 99 minus 92 we get 7 so negative 7 is equals to 7a divided by 7 divided by 7 which gives us a as negative 1 so it means it's a uh, better decay but 7 molecules of it that has been emitted so we go to nuclear fusion so for the nuclear fusion so nuclear fusion is a process which smaller nucleides join together. So you can see before we were bombarding and then they break. But in this case, now we are joining together uh, small nucleides to form bigger ones and they release large quantity of energy. So very high temperatures and pressures is required to overcome the repulsion between the atoms. So nuclear fission is a basic uh, chemistry behind solar radiation. So daughters, atoms, nucleides of hydrogen, we need to remember we are working with hydrogen now, joins to form helium. So we form helium atom, not the ion, uh, on the surface of the sun, releasing large quantity of energy in form of heat and light. So you can see, we have an hydrogen, hydrogen forming helium, and then you can see one neutron is given off uh, at the end of the day. So let's look at an example. So we have one hydrogen reacting with something here to form a helium that looks like this. So it's two plus unknown, you can give it x is equals to three, which gives us uh, x is equals to 3 minus 2, this is going to be 1. So we have a mass number of 1, and then uh, the atomic number is 1 plus y is equals to 2, which gives us y is equals to 1. So it's going to be 1. So this is an helium with a hydrogen with a mass number 1, atomic number 1. Then we have this reaction. Now we are bombarding these two hydrogens to form this product. So one of the products has mass number of 1. So if we take the total 2 plus 2, we form 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, so this is going to be 3. And then 1 plus 1 is 2, and then we have 1, so it is 2 minus 1, which gives us 1. And then we have this reaction. So we have 1, 1, Ilya. So it's four of them are bombarded to give uh, the helium. So the mass number is four and the atomic number is four. But we have four and two, so meaning the value of A will have zero. And uh, so this is going to be, for us to get a total of four, we need two electrons. So it becomes, so 4 minus, so it becomes 2, so it's 1, but you multiply, this is a new, new nucleide, uh, but 2 of them, which gives us a mass number of 1. So let's do this final question that will help us to close the session. So the equation below represents a nuclear reaction in which two delirium nuclei fused to form helium and X. So we have the hydrogen, they are fusing to form helium and this. So it is 2 plus 2, which is 4, 4 minus 3, which gives us 1. So this is going to be 1. And then 1 plus 1 is given, giving us 2. This is going to be 0. So this is a nuclear. So the value of x, identity of x is a, is a nuclear. That brings us to the end of the session. Uh, see you in the next lesson.